Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome John Graham, Dean of Indiana University School of Public and Environmental Affairs. Good morning and a warm welcome to everyone. Um, I'm delighted to introduce our conference on what the next president should do about manufacturing, an agenda for the first 100 days. As a dean, I can't resist engaging in a modest amount of institutional self-promotion. Certainly, you know who the number one ranking school of public affairs in the United States is. U.S. News and World Report, certainly it's the Harvard Kennedy School of Government or the Berkeley Goldman School at the University of California at Berkeley or it's the Harris School at the University of Chicago. The best kept secret is the most recent rankings for the first time in its history, Indiana University School of Public and Environmental Affairs. <laughs> a couple of years ago, a man I did not know named Gil Kaplan and some of my closest advisors came to me with a request to consider a proposal to launch a new center at Indiana University. The new center would study the challenges facing the U.S. manufacturing sector, assess public policies that impact the industrial sector, and identify policy options for enhancing this vital sector of our economy. They said that no other academic institution in the country currently provided the broad-based objective, unbiased analysis that policymakers and others need. They were concerned specifically about issues such as workforce, education, international trade, sustainable manufacturing, innovation in manufacturing, national security, tax policy, regulatory reform, and job and earnings growth. It all made sense to me, not only because manufacturing is such a critical part of our economy, nationally, but because the state of Indiana has the highest manufacturing employment in the United States. Moreover, SPIA's faculty and students have, dec have a decade of experience studying various aspects of manufacturing, from chemicals to automotive. Soon after, this initiative was launched, and we're focusing on three fundamental questions. Why has the U.S. lost much of its manufacturing base? Why are some areas of U.S. manufacturing thriving while others are declining? And what public policy and private sector steps can buttress the health of this sector looking forward? So here we are. Our goal at this conference and through the initiative is to pinpoint best policy practices that will strengthen manufacturing and get those solutions into the hands of the presidential campaign teams and legislators this fall. But let me assure you that our initiative will not stop with this conference or with this president. We seek your help in looking for the resources to help launch a decade of work on this topic.